So I know a lot of you all know about melanin and how it's more valuable than any precious metal on the planet. That melanin has been used to cure cancer, AIDS, and other known diseases. I know most of you all know that melanin has a direct connection to nature, the God particle, and the sun. But did you all know that melanin is the fifth element? It's the sixth sense. You remember those movies. Turns out that those movies, those superhero movies, are displaying the abilities or at least the potential abilities of our DNA and the history of our ancestors. The electromagnetic field gives all humanity the ability to tap into superhuman abilities. Your melanin absorbs a wider range of the electromagnetic spectrum, giving you more access to actual superhuman powers. All those superhero movies and comic books that Hollywood puts out there are made about your ancestors. These powers include, but are not limited to, spiritual powers, summoning material manipulation, levitation, telepathy, speed of lightning, superhuman strength, invisibility, teleportation, telekinesis, shape-shifting, time-traveling, enhanced hearing, x-ray vision, and magnetoception which is being able to sense the Earth's magnetic field. To expand on magnetoception a bit, it's kind of similar to DMT. It's when you see a grid overlaying your vision or can see, taste, and touch in numbers, kind of like Neo in the Matrix, giving you access to more information in any given moment. The word hero comes from our ancestor Haru from ancient Kemet, X-Men, the fifth element, Matilda, Avatar, Matrix, etc. These are some of the superpowers that your ancestors have. It's in your DNA and therefore you have them too. In many of us, these powers are currently in a state of hibernation. However, we as a nation are waking up from a state of inactivity and metabolic depression. For the past 25,000 years, our people have suffered from the lack of our giant energy ball. Sirius, the sun star system, and Nibiru, collectively, we have temporarily solved this problem by going into hibernation. This has helped us to survive without our energy source. Now that our energy source, Nibiru and Sirius, is at our doorstep, we are regaining a superhuman power. Although you may say, well, I can't do any of these things, and you may not be able to right now, but... That is why we should be preparing ourselves for the rebirth of our powers. As many of you notice, our three suns are moving in closer to Earth. The beings that are the Anunnaki are very advanced DNA programmers. They are turning down our willpower levels and activating and upgrading our DNA. You will notice changes in your spirit, your mood, your mind, and body. These changes occur in the body cells as these cells undergo a gentle infusion of new electromagnetic pulses. Because of this, you may have some uncomfortable or awakening moments, dreams, and visions. Some of you may end up in what will usually seem like unusual situations. Your conversations with other people will seem sci-fi or slightly unbelievable. Some of you may even end up in jails and mental institutes, but fear not, and learn how to balance both extremities of the energy within you. Your left brain and your right brain, female and male energies. Have you ever felt like you were supposed to be able to fly, or read minds, or be really good at magic? Well, you're not alone. Many melanated beings have felt this and feel the same way. You feel like You're supposed to have superpowers, and that's because it's in your DNA. You melanated beings are rapidly regaining your superpowers. Almost all from Sumer, Kush, ancient Kemet, or Netzeru, and other ancient now civilizations have had at least one superpower. Where do you think they get these superhero ideas from? Do you really think that they are the originators of this idea? No! This came from your history. As Sirius, the sun star system in Nibiru, a.k.a. our ball of energy, moves in closer, our so-called junk DNA will be transformed. Remember, in the movie Independence Day, all the spaceships started waking up as the mothership came closer to Earth. It's a movie to them, but 
To us, it's our history. It's your history and your reality. Let's talk a bit about melanin and solar winds. NASA sprays melanin on their spaceships so they can go to the Van Allen belt, the area right before the firmament. Not only does this protect them against UV radiation, but it is able to dissipate over 99.9% .9 of UV radiation. Melanin protects cells from UVB, therefore reducing the risk of cancer. Melanin converts radiation not only into harmless energy, but useful energy. There is a reason why they tell you the sun gives you cancer or don't look at the sun because you can go blind. But the sun actually recharges our melanin. Melanin is the first organic semiconductor which makes it capable of absorbing a wider range of electromagnetic spectrum. This is why it appears to be black sometimes during sun gazing. Melanin is one of the original ingredients essential for life on Earth. Melanin can convert sunlight into metabolic energy. You know what this means, right? It means you have a way bigger responsibility than you may have thought. This means that this is above the realm of superhero movies and comic books that you have seen. There was a 1961 study that found melanin-rich fungi from soils of the Nevada nuclear test site survived radiation exposures that are not only normally lethal to most forms of life, but actually attracts them to it. In 1951, they did a test on an African-American woman called Henrietta Lacks. The John Hopkins Hospital in Baltimore, Maryland did experiments with her melanin and used her cells for cures. Her melanin cured cervical cancer. They called it the immortal cell line, now known as the Hella cell line. So they know how powerful your melanin is, which is why they are charging $365 per gram for it. Melanin is not just a pigment or a color. It is an aromatic biopolymer, an organic semiconductor, which is worth more than gold, silver, platinum, palladium, rhodium, you name it. When the veil, when the ferment comes down and we're exposed to the solar winds, we will use this radiation or melanin energy to not only fly, but to teleport, communicate telepathically, control weather, electricity, and other elements in the earth, and the long list goes on. Just think about why our oppressors push Christianity and Islam on us. Because with these religions, we think that we're closer to God when in fact we're further or more away from God. All of these religions don't date past 6,000 years. If African spirituality is over 36,000 years older than all of these religions in the world, then why are we worshiping these new age gods? Just a thought. Anyway. Religion was pushed on us and our ancestors because if we practice the religion of our oppressors, then we lose our superpowers and they win. In 1971, there was a Haitian revolution. The slaves used voodoo against the colonists and they won the war. The slaves won the war. Now, how can someone do this if they don't have any guns or weapons? Hollywood and Western society portrays voodoo as evil because it works. It gets us out of slavery each time. Unfortunately, as I'm sure many of you noticed, that many of us are still slaves. But it's, it changed a little bit. It got more sophisticated, slavery did. It's called materialistic spiritual slaves, and it will take the spirit science and the teachings of our ancestors to get us out this time. Time to return to our roots. Our gods, the Divine Mother, Father, and the Son, the Holy Spirit, and our ancestors, to help with that. I have a list of some things that we can practice to regain our our superpowers and get back into and get back out of slavery this time for good. So, how do you activate your melanin? Energy or superpowers, right? The most obvious is through solar exposure such as the sun. Get out in the sun, expose as much of your skin as you can as possible to the sun. Number two is foods. You can take chlorophyll, carrot, spinach, brown, mush, um, brown mushrooms, melon, watermelon. See, there's a reason why we have always did certain things to survive. Why have we always loved watermelon? Well, there's a reason for that. Number three, 
Choose your superpower. Mine is communicating telepathically and spiritual healing and other psychic abilities. Uh, when I was inoculated, I did a video on this topic called I of Horus Tour of Heavens and Earth. You guys can check that out. But I was inoculated anyway. Um, I did a whole video about this experience, and I'll post a link below if you want to check it out. Number four is to marry melanin. Number four is marry melanin. It is said that the aura of a melanated being is about a mile long. So being around melanated beings also helps your melanin. It helps your melanin production. Number five, practice African alchemy or voodoo to connect with and, and other sources too. Like we're not limited to anything. We can have multiple sources for not just spirit, but also science. But the main thing we have to do is connect back with our roots. And new ideas will be revealed through us, through our ancestors. So that's all I have for now on this topic. If you all have any new findings or topics, please let me know by leaving a comment. Peace, blessings, and much success to you, kings and queens.